Hello and welcome back to Forgotten City. Everything went just as it did the day before and we have to get up there. Yes, hello, here's the medicine. Oh, the golden rule is going to be broken soon. I need you to quietly get everyone except since you're ready to run into the upper system. Ooh, that's... Ooh, when the ground starts to rumble. What? That's a big ask. But... Something tells me you're not kidding. All right, I'm gonna stick my neck out and believe you. But I doubt I'll be able to gather more than a handful of people. So we have to go to the cistern now. Oh, we have a thing to work out. By the way, let's jump into the water. Hopefully I make it. Right? Oh, really? Come on. Come on, you can make it. Okay, it worked. It worked indeed. Abandoned chest. It was abandoned, you hear it? You see it? <laughs> it was abandoned. Now we have to go back to... Scintilla. And send her on merry way. By the way, was it you who bullied? What is it, citizen? I already. Oh, <gasps> we didn't talk to a few. I'm a legionary of the first Italica, but there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others, and making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How do you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetic future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. And then, nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river. But I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centella's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. What can you tell what can you tell me about the magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat you an inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Okay, do you know a way out of here? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. <laughs> Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Well, thank you. Uh, oh, that could have been useful earlier. Okay. Thanks. Of course. What do you think about the golden rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother in arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. 
where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. Hmm. A war crime? Yep. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Uh, our worlds are very different. Seems that way. In war crimes. Oh, ridiculous. Uh, are you saying you're in favor of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. Which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. I really like this, Seneca, don't you? If you like. What are you going to vote for? Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, bribery and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that slings at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Can I help? I appreciate the thought. But you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In if you only... If you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. Are you the one fitting Virgil? What? Absolutely not. I figured. I know someone's been threatening him. And I'm not happy about it, but I can assure you, it isn't me. Fair enough. I'll be going right. on. I don't like bluffing, I don't like lying. Hey, Horatius. How's it feel knowing your man's doomed to lose the election today? Hey, you're not thinking about going into um, the system, are you? Anyway, is this still our life, though? Uh, I know about the creature, don't well, worry. It's your funeral. Thank you. Is he still alive? Oh, no. Do they resp respawn as well? Hmm. If that's the case, then it's a shame because I have only f a definitive amount of arrows. Yep, he does. You're welcome. I'm gonna kick you though. And those. Oh, those change as well. Are you serious? Climb. Nobody sent you. No. You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. I know we've had this conversation before, um, believe me. What? Right. God, am I going out of my mind? Are you going to let me go or not? I've told the Galerius to lead everyone here when the golden rule is broken so they can escape too. How did you know? Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. Okay. Hi. What did you do with Centilla? 
Where is she? Oh well, um, you <laughs> as uh, you're a human guy, but you know that. So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself, just like that soft-hearted pleb. Now, you remember him? Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one loop to the next. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the five? Not a lot compared with Al, but I've seized every day nonetheless. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? So, you asked me to figure out who was going to break the golden rule, knowing I would fail every time. Of course. There's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is inevitable. Man will always sin sooner or later. Any idiot could tell you this. But where others might see tragedy, I saw opportunity. As I told you the first time we met, I found a way to cheat death. By reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after your dust. You're not alive though. You knew there was a way out and even locked up your own daughter to keep it a secret. Why? Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. And as long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all. Over and over again. For eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely. To cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Um, let's see... Well, you know, you're going to die a painful death for this. Do you really think you can take on a Decurion with that flimsy little bird? I probably could, but I'm going to let her have this one. Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. The other should be right behind us. Hey! What's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. No, 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 no. I have to go back in. Uh, 
Oh? Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fray. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Oh, Worf, I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Evna. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, Centilla and a handful of other citizens managed to escape, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Uh, right. That definitely wasn't me. I didn't for one moment think it was, but the way you say that makes me wonder. I mean... How many people with that name could there be in this place? I don't understand how you could have been here 2,000 years ago. When I first arrived, arrived here in the present day, I found your corpse hanging from a noose. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? I still have the suicide note you carved into this tablet here. Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. It was written by a different version of you. I changed the past and your fate. I, uh, I'm not following. No wonder. I helped Centilla kill the man who opened a time portal and drew you back in time, preventing it from ever happening. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, mm -hmm. he never created a time portal, mm -hmm. so I never went through it, mm -hmm. and that's why I don't remember any of this. Exactly. Now you're getting it. You saved my life then. As well as helping a bunch of others to escape. That's a lot to take in. Enough talk. How about we get out of this place? Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Centilla used. If we can find it. It's right here in the cistern. Follow me. As if I... Please don't stab me in the back. There's still so much to explore, so much to find out. We still need to give that medicine from our rheumatism, we need to find those plaques. here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. Oh, right. Good idea. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. So this is how we felt. It was night, so that's why I'm a little bit confused about everything. If I am able to go back with all no where's probably no way I can go back with all my knowledge. I should load up from the last safe I ha I I did. Okay Ren. You're back! But you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. He'll be here in a moment. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered while we wait? I discovered your n real name is K Kiram. Ah, I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. Why did you turn all creepy now? Who are you really? You can just call me Carol, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort in familiarity. 
in gradual change, and coming to see the truth in their own time. What truth is that? That you died, of course. You were dead when I brought you here. My role, as the servant of the god of the underworld, has always been to assist the chosen to cross the threshold from the land of the living to the land of the dead. How did they die? Hmm. Usually, when people do not remember how they died, it is because they suffered a terrible trauma. Most souls would rather not remember. Ask yourself honestly, do you really want to know? Yes, I want to know. As you wish. You were murdered. You were exploring an old tomb when you discovered a cache of forgotten relics, including two silver coins of ancient origin. Unfortunately, as you emerged into daylight, you were set upon by two thieves. A nearby hiker saw the scuffle break out and luck to your aid, trying to help you recover your bounty. You both fought bravely, but your assailants were armed, and you were not. There was nothing you or your ally could have done. He died instantly at the scene, and you followed a few hours later. That man's name was Al Work. You were each in possession of a sacred coin called Karen's Opal by some. And so it was my duty to bring you here. What's so special about these coins? Perhaps you have heard the tales of the Greeks and Romans bearing their dead with a coin in their mouths to pay the ferryman for passage across the river. Well, those stories contained a seed of truth, but not any coin would do. A long time ago, my master created a thousand silver coins and had me distribute them across the world. My orders were simple. Whenever a person died in possession of a coin, I was to locate them and ferry them here. Why? That is a question you would have to ask him, if that were still possible, in light of the path you have chosen. I am just his servant doing his bidding. Only now, I find myself bereft of purpose. You see, the coins on you and Al were the last of the thousand in existence. There is nobody else to ferry here. Nobody to keep you company. After five thousand years, the underworld has finally run its course. Can you return to ask the land of the living? I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again! Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... what? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but Octavia, Lucretia, Horatius, Equitia and I will never forget you, or what you did for us. It pains us that so many of our dear friends were not so fortunate, including Olpius and Galerius, who heroically tried to rescue Dooley, but never made it back. But there is no point dwelling on what might have been. All we can do is take this gift you've given us and try to show others the same compassion you showed us. We promise you that saving our lives was not for nothing. Centilla et al. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first... You two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. 
And you? Are you ready to go home? All right. Fair is home. Ending. Three or four. <sighs> yeah, I think we found the god of the underworld. Ready. So I guess this is the fourth ending. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. Of course we're gonna continue because I would love to find all four endings and uh, tie all the loose ends we've left. So for now it's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!